If you knit or crochet, you've probably seen this light floating around all over social media. I know I sure saw so many reels on Instagram using the Lumos knitting light, so you know I had to try one for myself and put it to the test. Hey, 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 makers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cameron. I run the crochet boutique called Cameron's Cute Creations, but here on YouTube, I love helping fellow crochet business owners start making some serious money with their crochet business because, I mean, we're crocheting all the time. We might as well be making money doing it and I just honestly enjoy having crochet friends too so there's that. Now something I talk about all the time especially over on Instagram is wrist and hand health when you're crocheting all the time for your business you want to make sure you're taking care of your wrists and hands but I have been overlooking this thing for so long and that is my eye health. I didn't even really think of that. I'm going to read a stat from the Lumos knitting website. They said that the Lumos knitting light prevents eye strain and even can boost productivity up to 357%. I'm always down to find more ways to make my market prep strategy even more efficient than it already is and get more done in less time. So I'm pretty pumped to try out this light. And before we get started, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Lumos Knitting for sponsoring today's video. I never recommend items to you on here that I wouldn't buy myself, so I will be giving my honest review in today's video. Let's unbox the Lumos Knitting Light together and put it to the test. The first thing that I noticed when I unpackaged the Lumos Knitting Light was how adorable the packaging was. Something else I wanted to note was how simple it was to unbox. It was very user friendly. Everything came undamaged in perfect condition. Plus they also have this card that shows you exactly how to use it. They make it so simple. You don't have to read through a long booklet. Does anybody else hate that when there's just way too much information? I love how simple they made it. After I unboxed the light, I actually plugged it in to charge it for a bit. It did come with some charge in it, but I wanted to make sure I got it charged to its fullest so we could actually test out the light capability when it's charged at its fullest. So that is plugged in. I'm gonna wait for it to charge all the way and then we're gonna put it to the test and I seriously cannot wait. Okay, these things, oh my gosh. This is so bright. So you can click one on at a time or you can just use one side at a time, which is kind of nice actually. But um, I'm assuming I'm gonna be wanting to use both at the same time. Now there's different temperatures. I'm kind of liking this temperature, but we also have, this is like the mix between them. I believe that's warm and cool. And then we have warm and then we have the cool temperature. Now they also said that we can hold these down to make them brighter or um, dim them down. So I'm gonna hold this down. So that dimmed it. Got my project here. So these are very bendy. As you can see, I just bended it up. So, so easy. Okay, I already love this thing. I can see exactly what I'm working on right now. And I can see I just messed up. <laughs> Which, if it was dark, I would not be able to see that flaw. And um, that would stink because I'd probably get like five rows in and then be like, oh, I need to frog it because <laughs> I made a mistake five rows back. Now I can see myself using this a ton of different ways. One of the ways is just working on my temperature blanket at night. I think this thing is going to come so in handy. So I want to actually test this thing out when the lights are still on, when there's still a little natural light coming in, but maybe it's just not as bright as I would have liked it. So I'm going to test that now and then I can show you a little bit more of the features because I know it's hard to see in here when it's dark. Let's go test this out in the light. <laughs> as far as eye health, we know if we have a more clear light on our source, um, it's better for our eye health and that goes for like reading and stuff too. I mean, you could definitely use these for other things, but the cool part about this with crocheting is when you're crocheting like down here, your lights can be here, but when they go, you know, maybe you're holding it up more in front of you. Boom. The other thing is these bend like crazy awesome and they're like really smooth. They're a really smooth bend. I don't know and they're easy but they stay i'm like what is what kind of wire is this this thing isn't uncomfortable to wear it's not like a big nuisance to wear um it's honestly really comfortable you won't even really realize it's there to make it more bright you click it on to be on and then you hold it down that will dim it and it will start to right here it goes blink that means it's all the way dim you can hold it on again 
and then it'll blink that's all the way bright so that's how you get them to go dimmer or brighter and then how to change the color temperature is you just click through let's test it with another project kind of more in the light and then you can kind of see what this thing looks like when you're using it a little bit better so let's do that Okay, so I want to give you a look at what the light looks like when it is facing. Right now, I have it facing up, uh, but when it's actually facing my crochet project. So, of course, velvet is really hard to see your stitches on. I am just going to use my light and put it on right towards my project. As you can see, it is a lot easier to see where you're going next. This camera is not picking it up as much as it is in person, by the way. I can see a ton better in person. Now, let me just give you my final thoughts on this because I'm pretty obsessed. You can't tell already, I am absolutely obsessed with the Lumos knitting light. First of all, I just absolutely love that it's lightweight, that you don't notice it's there. It's not annoying to have on while you're crocheting. Also, I love that there's so much versatility with it. You have different light settings. You have different dimness and brightness that you can use, which it's super easy to use. And I love that it's not battery operated and you plug it in. I love so much about this light and honestly I can totally see myself using this daily. And here is why. I am market prepping all of the time projects that I work on, like little snugglers, some of the mama made minis, snugglers, oh my gosh, I have to watch my stitches, I have to use stitch markers, all of those things, and I need something like this to help me with that, especially if I'm bringing it on the go. And also with personal projects like my temperature blanket, with the colors being so similar, it is so hard to tell them apart, this light makes it so much easier easier. I know this is just my first impression and unboxing, but if you want to see me keep using this, um, be sure to follow me on Instagram. If you want to try out the Lumos knitting light yourself, I will put my coupon code in the description box. That way you can try it out, see if you like it too. And if you want more videos like this one, reviewing different products, be sure to comment down below and let me know what other products you want me to review next. I hope you loved hanging out with me in today's video. And as always, I would love to keep hanging out with you here on YouTube. So if you want to keep hanging out, check out this video next and I will see you my friends in this video right here. Bye!